Guys, if you have been wondering, if you have been thinking of leaving WordPress, then you must stick around on this video, okay? As I'm going to show you how you can use Google site to build a blog on site, a blog on category landing page, all right? So I'm, that's what I'm going to show you now. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's dive in. So I want you to log into your Google account and then click on the drive. And uh, here, click on new, more, and Google sites. Now, what we want to do here is to change the teams, okay? So, I'm going to click on the teams. I can use any of these uh, teams, okay? We've got like six teams. You can choose any one you want to use. So, I'm going to just click this one. And then, um, what you want to do here is to add your logo. So, I'm going to upload logo right here now. I'm going to click here to upload the logo. Let's click here, upload. Let me see if I can find Okay, here is one logo. So I'm gonna upload this one. And then if you go Favicon, click here to upload Favicon as well. So another thing you wanna do is to um create a page. Alright. So click on the page. Here we go like um if you go pages of, of the blog and you wanna um add here, you can write them down here. Okay. So let's uh, call this one fashion um you can call another one um clothing trends so now we're gonna try to design this clothing trends um category page okay so what i will do first here is to change this um header image okay to do that click here and upload one from your computer select one from google let's do one from our computer the one i'm gonna use okay let's use this one okay so now next thing i want to do here is to add um, a test here to do that double click click test box here and i'm gonna um write a test All right i'm gonna move this one i'm gonna put it like home and then you can pull something like this and then you can write pull some gap you can write like something like clothing uh, trends okay you can as well pull this one pull this one so the next thing I want to do here is to upload some um, some photos, all right? And to do that, I can use any of these um, layout elements right here. So uh, I'm going to just do this one. Click on these two. So I'm going to just upload some image. So I'm going to click on this one, upload. going to find some image that I downloaded. Uh, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to stretch it down and then I'm going to put another image right here. Click upload and I'm going to use this one. I'm going to stretch it down. I'm going to make this one more bigger, more longer. And then I'm going to uh, copy some text and paste some text right here. So what I'm going to do is to go and copy some text and paste it here. Delete this one and then copy some test and paste. I'm gonna use the same test anyway. So I'm gonna click this one, delete this one, click, paste this test here. All right, so I'm gonna um, duplicate this session to add more my image. So I'm gonna click here to duplicate. So I'm gonna click on each of this image to replace them. Click on these three dots. And then upload. I'm gonna upload this one. And the next one, yeah, I'm gonna make this one more bigger. Now I'm gonna put a divider right here. And I'm gonna try to put a background color right here. So before that, I need to change the background color of this team. So let's say 
we click here to find something like purple okay yeah this one is not bad let's use this one all right so now i'm gonna go and change the background color so click here yeah this one as well click on this one so the next thing i want to do here is to add another image um under photos as well to do that i want to put um another space here i want to make space and to make space what i normally do is to put a white uh a test uh box here and the label i'm not gonna write anything on it and then carry on when i need it so i'm gonna put here another le test layer and then copy a test to paste here so i'm gonna go and copy some test and paste here so now i'm gonna paste the test and uh, the next thing i want to do is to add images right here so to do that you can use this image layout here or you can simply uh, double click and upload image and test but i'm gonna use this layout so i'm gonna click on it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click here upload and i'm gonna upload i'm gonna upload this one i'm gonna bring it down a little bit make it bigger so i'm gonna go and copy some test right here and i'm gonna paste the test here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete this session and paste the test right here so now i can add a button here to do that you can let's use a uh, google site button element so i'm gonna click here i'm gonna uh, call it maybe read read more uh can link it anywhere here or you can put a standard link so i'm gonna move this here now i want to put more images here and to the easiest way to do that is to duplicate this one so i'm gonna duplicate this session and then of course i'm gonna swap this i want this image to be on the right hand side so i'm gonna put like this and i'm gonna go and uh, change this image just click on the image click three dot icon on the replace image so I'm gonna put this one. Okay, another thing I wanna do is I wanna put more. I'm gonna duplicate this one. And I'm gonna swap the image again to this side. Click here and replace the image. So basically this is how you change your image on Google site, all right? So I'm gonna put what? I'm gonna put divider. So I think it's looking good. The next thing I want to do here is to put a pagination right here. So, and to do that, you can get some pagination um, code from W3 School, all right? Or you can get someone to do it for you. It's just a code that you need to embed on your website, okay? So, I got one already that I got from W3 School. So, I'm going to get, um, going to go and copy the code and, and, the, and embed it right here. So, I'm going to um, double click embed embed code and paste the code and the insert next and insert and this is my code i'm gonna make it smaller stretch it and uh, make it a little bit smaller and then i'm gonna move it in the center okay so this is how it's gonna look the last thing i want to do here is to add the footer okay so i'm gonna click here and uh, i'm gonna copy some text for the footer okay i'm gonna paste it right here now i'm gonna duplicate this and add another one on the right hand side i'm gonna go and copy some text i'm gonna center this i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay i'm gonna bold them and here i'm gonna try to upload some social media icon okay to do that i got some icon uh, i got some image that i need to upload here so double click 
upload so i'm gonna find facebook yeah facebook and i'm gonna stretch it make it small i'm gonna upload instagram okay gonna move it here and the last one is youtube i'm gonna upload youtube and i'm gonna move it here all right so i'm gonna make this one more smaller so here this one i'm gonna make it smaller as well center it all right looking good so i want to try to put another background color on this one and to do that click on background session here and i'm gonna use this color so now i have finished designing um my blog category page how i want it to look so if you have more uh categories to design so you can follow uh, the same step to design them as well all right so now i'm gonna preview this site before i publish so click here to preview So you can see how it's looking on a, on a computer. So um, this is not on the center. So I'm going to move it on the center. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to try to center it. So now it's on the center right here. So now it's time for us to publish our site. So click on this publish button. And I'm going to call it blog categories okay and then i'm gonna publish the site now we have to view our live site click here view publish site and this is how our blog site is looking blog category page is looking if you spend much time get um an amazing images you can design something amazing something great than this as well all right so um i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do enjoy if you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families and uh, also subscribe so you don't miss any of my weekly videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one